America's first helicopter made in Goodland, Kansas. When you think of the helicopter, you think of Igor Sikorsky. Igor Sikorsky was the father of the helicopter. Leonardo da Vinci drew his design for an aerial screw in the late 1480s while he was employed as a military engineer. Louis Charles Bagall began work on the gyroplane, the forerunner of the helicopter with flexible wings, on 29th September 1907 at his workshop in France. It achieved the first ascent of a vertical flight aircraft with a pilot to a height of only two feet. It was also not a free flight as four men were used to study the structure. Paul Kearney, he made history by designing the world's first successful manned helicopter. He piloted the construction himself at Normandy, France on November 13, 1907. It managed to lift off the ground under its own power, but it had been held in position by men standing on the ground. Kearney's performance was considered progress because his aircraft flew without additional support and lifted Kearney about one foot for 20 seconds. Unfortunately, the early helicopter was hard to maneuver and had only a few additional flights. When you think of Kansas, you think of wheat fields and tornadoes. You wouldn't think it was the air capital of the world. But people like Clyde Cessna and Walter Beach started to manufacture planes in Kansas around 1916. Since then, the greater Wichita region has pioneered aviation manufacturing with a culture of innovations. Now let's look at Goodland, Kansas, home of America's first helicopter. Located in the great state of Kansas, out in the far western part of Kansas. On Thanksgiving Day in 1909, a crowd gathered to watch a demonstration of William J. Purvis's and his partner, Charles L. Wilson's helicopter on Purvis's farm. Although it was weighted down with rocks to prevent flight, the machine lifted off the ground before setting back down. It had been hitched to a six horsepower gasoline engine. Mr. Purvis announced that $10 shares in the company would be sold. And him and his partner, Wilson, started the Goodland, Kansas Aviation. They were able to raise $30,000, quite a sum of money back in 1909. Unfortunately, the company hit on hard times and just couldn't quite make a go at it. And so the Goodland, Kansas Aviation filed bankruptcy. But then in 1912, the United States Patent Office granted them a patent for the first helicopter made in America. To me, it looks a lot like the helicopter that's on Mars right now. Well, thanks for watching and please subscribe. Thank you very much.